Hey, welcome to your small group tonight, or what we like to call circles. And uh, this is the last uh, message in our special Get a Grip series. Now, just because it's the last message in our Get a Grip series doesn't mean it needs to be your last time together. Now, it could be that, you know, you made a seven or eight week commitment and, and it's just best that you, you don't meet again or you as an individual or whatever. But I want to encourage you to keep meeting, keep getting together and maybe next week, uh, you know, come together and once again, just talk about the message, uh, whatever, the, whatever the message is going to be on and just keep meeting, maybe have times of, of fellowship or, or whatever. But this is going to be the very last message in our Get a Grip series. And uh, I decided to do a message called Getting a Grip on a, on a Miracle. And it was really born out of, um, really the title was going to be Getting a Grip on Fear. Uh, you know, what do you do when you get afraid? What, if, what, if you, what do you do when you're terrified or whatever? And then it just kind of morphed into this idea of uh, getting a grip on a miracle. And there are times in all of our lives when, when we kind of need a miracle. Uh, some of you right now may need a miracle uh, at your job or the business that you own. Some of you may need a miracle in your marriage right now, right? Some of you may need a miracle in your family or maybe you're facing a health issue and you need a, a, a miracle. Um, and, and so what we did was we took a story, a story of Jehoshaphat and these three armies that had come together to kind of try to wipe Jehoshaphat and the uh, Israelites, you know, off the planet. And uh, we kind of looked at a number of things that Jehoshaphat did and, and what he got his people to do that helped him experience a miracle. And it's found in Second uh, Chronicles chapter uh, 20. And one of the things you might do after I pray here in a, in a moment is to, to, is to read the story again, verses 1 through about 27 or whatever. And some of the words and names may be a little hard to understand or whatever, but it's a great story. And there's some great principles in there that, uh, that we, can, we, you know, we can learn from. I think, I think the most important one was probably the first principle that I shared. And that is when you're facing something that's enormous, something that's got you afraid, you're, you're, you're terrified or whatever, there's fear in your life or your family, you need a miracle, the greatest thing you can do is just run to God as fast as you can. That's the most important thing. That's what we see Jehoshaphat doing in this story. He hears about these armies that are coming against him, and he doesn't waste any time. He just goes right to the Lord. He runs to the Lord as fast as he can. And that's a, always a great place to be, is near the, the Lord. But here's, it, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to pray. And then maybe go around uh, the circle, if you will. And maybe share uh, something that you're facing right now. And it's got you afraid, or it's got you terrified. And, and that's uh, what, what uh, verse 3 tells us in the story, is that um, Jehoshaphat was terrified about what was going to happen. And maybe, maybe there's something terrifying going on in your life or your family or your business or your health or whatever right now. Maybe, maybe share that. And you need a miracle. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe there's nothing going on right now, but maybe you can think back and, you know, last year, whatever it was, the last decade or a, a moment when you were terrified, something happened in your life, in your family, whatever. And like Jehoshaphat, you were terrified, you were afraid, you were scared, and you needed a miracle, and, and maybe share how that all uh, turned out. Um, anyway, let, let me pray for you, and I'm just really super excited that you spent these last, you know, eight weeks or so just gathering together, and I hope you keep meeting. Father, thanks for uh, tonight and, and this great story, and, and I have probably preached this message here, this story, talked about this story more times than I could count. I love the story. I love telling children this story. I love telling youth about this story. I love telling adults about this story. 
It's a story that we can all relate to. We've all had moments when we were terrified. Something happened in our lives, in our families' lives, and it terrified us. And what Jehoshaphat does is uh, pretty special things that we can learn from. And he experienced a miracle at the end of it. And so, Lord, I pray that as uh, these folks just gather around in, in their circle, that they would have a great time being together, and that maybe some friendships have been started that will last a, a lifetime now. Father, thanks for your goodness to us, and bless their time, and I pray this in your name. Amen. Blessings.